So here are the uh, the seven grains or so that uh, that I have remaining after my casting. Um, and now the process is that we pull them out of their. Hold on. All right. So you can see the the coring rod all the way through. And uh, what I do here. I actually take and hold on to the and twist this and pulling pretty hard and work this out. Okay. So here's the grain cast. What I'll do now is I'll cut cut that off there. I'll flush it across the bottom, uh, and then I'll cut it to three and three and an eighth inches, which would be a uh, Bates grain. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of these, and uh, be back in a moment. So here are the uh, seven grains with them pulled out, and I've cleaned them up a little bit. I took the tape off that we put on to plug the hole. As you can see, there's a little bit of residual tape left. Um, not a big deal. So now the next step is, is that I'm going to uh, cut, the, cut them to length um, on my bandsaw. So I'll take two of them here. I'll show you my bandsaw. I've already been cutting some stuff on here from earlier today. One of the things I did forget to mention is that uh, this is about a week later from the casting, so these have been, have been curing for roughly about a week or so. So they are as cured as they're going to be for the while. Anyway, so I'm going to clean up here a little bit, clean up these shavings, uh, vacuum them up, and set up my jig, or set up something to, uh, to set the width, and uh, go ahead and cut them, and be back in a moment. So I have my uh, my stop block set up here, basically just a piece of plywood that I've uh, held on with a couple of clamps. And we're at three and an eighth, if I can get it to focus. There you go, three and an eighth. Got my uh, vacuum hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut one of these. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Basically, the way that I do it is I set it up on that, that edge, that lip, and uh, roll it through. So I have all my grains here that I just uh, cut on the bandsaw, kind of clean things up a little bit. So now what I do is I have a half inch drill, a little bit chucked up, and because uh, I want half inch cores. So the way that I go about doing this is I'll drill halfway through and flip it over and drill the other. This particular grain uh, was a little bit short, I don't know that I'm going to use it. Um, We'll see though. Anyway, I'm going to drill it out and uh, I'll show you what I do. Um, one of the things that I do use is these Pyrodex pellets uh, to help in ignition. Um, I haven't had an ignition fail yet using that, so I'll show you here in a moment how I go about using those.
So I've drilled out five grains of the seven with um, half inch and drilled out two sides of two grains with the half inch and I didn't uh, go all the way through. What I'm going to do here is I've chucked up a three eighths inch bit and uh, while that the original hole was three eighths I'm just going to uh, widen it a little bit so that I can kind of compression fit one of these Pyrodex pellets in there. So I'll show you what that looks like after it's done. So I've got my hole that I've kind of wobbled out a little bit, made it just a little bit bigger. And um, as you see, that's got an air bubble in it. Uh, that'll be okay from, I'm going to cut that out anyway. Anyway, so what I do is I take my Pyrodex pellet, put it in the hole, and uh, it's going to compress in about 10 or about 5 or 10 pounds. As you can see, these are nice pellets are in there nicely. And uh, these become the top grain. So what I'm doing here is I've got the grain as you originally saw. So I cut it. And uh, what I'm doing here is cutting the kind of a concave shape into the top and I'll sand it kind of smooth. Uh, that's to make sure that each uh, each grain each grain lights at the top and bottom. So I've got uh, I've done this number four, I've got three more to do. So I've got all my grains here that I've um, that I've cut and kind of put a conical or a concave shape in the the tops and bottoms just to make sure that they light. What I want to do is I want to weigh them just to make kind of sure that, um, that they're all basically the same. So we have 159, 161, 157, 156, 158, 159, 162. Uh, I didn't uh, cut that one out yet. I've got to do that. So as you can see, they're all uh, they're all basically about the same, with the exception of the few that have the two that have the uh, the top end. Um, 159, 159. 157, 158, 158. So I think we have a a good uh, a good cast. My only concern with these is that uh, because it set up on me a little bit sooner than what I was thinking, that I might have had uh, some holes, some massive cavities in there. But uh, anyway, I guess it looks pretty good. What I'm doing now is I've got all my scraps and dust and everything that I mixed up and uh, I'm going to burn it for two reasons. One, to get rid of it and two, to see if it has the desired effect. This should be a really dark black smoke. Very nice. Well, it looks like I got some cleaning up to do here.